Hi, I'm Nadia. Welcome to IDX TV here at the Package Fulfillment Logistics and Delivery Expo in Cincinnati. Joining me is Rick from Workhorse. Rick, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks, Nadia. I'm, I live here, so I'm glad you're here to visit well, us. Just a quick trip for you then. Now, Right down the street. <laughs> exactly. Can you tell us a bit about Workhorse and your role there? I know you, you've not been there too long, but tell us about uh, the company and your role. Sure, I joined Workhorse up just under a year ago. I'm the CEO, so I'm the guy in charge of making sure the company gets across the finish line here. It's a company that's been around for a while. It's actually a, a merger of an old company called Workhorse Custom Chassis and a startup company called Amp that was a technology developer. And we are basically in the forefront of turning the delivery trucks from class three and class six levels here in North America to pure AV. Excellent. And you've got 100% uh, electric vehicles. Tell us what else are you doing um, in a sustainable perspective? Sure. Our vehicles are all 100% electric. That's the number one thing we can do from a sustainability standpoint. We took over a site that was built like back in the 1980s. The, the site's actually been building parts for the car industry back to 1800s, 1898. Wow. So we've just spent a long time and a lot of money to refurbish it and bring it up to speed. New lighting, much more efficient lighting, uh, cleaned up some of the irrigation stuff on runoff, and we're looking at solar panels for our roofs of our buildings in the future. So we, when I got here, I think we had 167,000 square feet. Now we have almost 410,000 square feet of refurbished manufacturing space in the heartland of America. Wow. And how do you think the rest of the industry are approaching sustainability? Do you think it's something that everyone's aware of and working towards? It, it's, it's there. It's coming for sure. And the, the people feel the pressure, especially a lot of the public companies. You've seen them go out and make statements. I was just at one of the big delivery companies a few weeks ago. I won't say which one, but they've made a hardcore commitment and they verify that with us in terms of what they're going to spend. Uh, between now and 2040 to convert 100% of their fleet over to electric vehicles. And that includes not just the trucks on the roads, but also the trucks and the, the service vehicles they have at their airfields and their warehouses, et cetera. So it's a great opportunity. We see it coming like a freight train, basically. Do you think there's enough people that are doing uh, enough to work towards it? Yeah, I think, I think, I think so. Uh, it's expensive to move to pure EV, you know, huge infrastructure costs. A uh, huge change in your maintenance programs when your fleets are on the road. Train your drivers, train your technicians. And so it's going to be the big companies I think lead and then also the small companies who want to be green. The mm -hmm. startup companies, we see that too. Opportunity yeah. for us, for sure. And what challenges uh, do Workhorse face over the next year or so and, and in the industry? Yeah, internally our challenges were we had to go from being a basically a technology startup EV company and there's lots of those and you start to see some of them failing right now. They're running out of cash. We had to basically strip down the company to the bare bones, uh, pay down our debt, convert it to equity, which drove our stock price down, uh, re revamp the leadership team, come up with a new product portfolio, and execute hard in like the next two years. The market's there, the demand is there, but you have to have the right products, it's gotta have reliability. One of the things we do have is we have the largest fleet in North America that's pure EV right now with mm -hmm. over eight million miles running around with UPS. So wow. we've got literally five or six years of experience of what's good about EV, what the challenges are EV. Mm -hmm. From an from a industry standpoint, infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. Everybody knows how to go fill up their trucks and get diesel, but now diesel is $6 a gallon here in the Midwest, $9 in the West Coast. So the business case to move to EV is even stronger every single yeah. day. So. Course. And coming to an event like this, how does that help Workhorse? Well, it gives us more exposure. When I walked in today, you know, there's three of our trucks. There's a big banner here in our home city of Cincinnati. Uh, we see some customers. We've already had a couple of customers stop by the show. Small entrepreneurs who are looking to buy some of the delivery routes from one of the big delivery companies. and They want to go pure EV in a East Coast city where there's a pressure and that's one of the states that's going to uh, adopt the carb standards here in North America. So mm -hmm. we like those kind of customers. So we obviously see the big customers. We go out and see them there. Some of them are here walking around. Mm -hmm. uh, some of our competitors are here. I get to go snoop around and see what my competitors <laughs> are doing as well. So they get to see my stuff. Spying. So, spying. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, good luck with the rest of the event. It's lovely to see I you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having Thanks me today. And welcome to America. Thank you so Thanks. much. And thank you for watching IDX TV brought to you by CCL.